it's 2021 and you want to become a data engineer, what do you have to do? Hi guys, I'm Johnny Chimmers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a professional data engineer by trade, Monday to Friday, working in the financial services industry, specializing in AWS. So I've been working in data now for over 10 years. Yikes, I'm old. And over that time, I've saw new roles be created in terms of job titles as data just becomes more prominent inside organizations. These include things like data scientist. That's replaced the term statistician, although for some people, it's just a bit more sexier. What is a data engineer? Well, I like to think that we're the glue that holds the whole organization together. No, seriously, what is a data engineer? Well, a data engineer in simplest terms is that you move data from point A to point B. However, that can be simple as in just getting data into a database and then doing a bit with it, or something way more complex where you can be working with terabytes of data on a scale that you can't even imagine inside a tech stack like AWS. But how do you actually become a data engineer? That's why we're here. What skills do I need in 2021 to be a data engineer? Well, depends what type of data engineer you're working as, whether you're working with big data, small data, relational data, and structured data. But there's a couple of things that just are universal, so I'm gonna to touch upon them here. It's always great to have some understanding or some ability to code an SQL, Structured Query Language, also known as SQL. It's a declarative language, a lot of people can code in it, whether they're business users or advanced programmers. It makes looking at data and analyzing data really simple. It's a great language to learn. It's not too hard to start off in, and there's plenty of free material online if you have no background in it whatsoever. It's widely used, widely accepted, and is a great fundamental. Moving into kind of more advanced languages, if you're working with big data stacks, such as the Hadoop stack, which we'll touch upon in a minute, you're gonna need something like Scala or Python. Python has become more and more prominent in the industry, especially the likes of PySpark, which is just Python that's been electrified. No, PySpark is actually for working with big data. Python really is that go-to big data technology at the moment in terms of languages, so it would really help if you had it. Scala is also another great option, and of course, there's always Java to fall back on. If you want my recommendation for 2021, it's gotta be Python. And once you've Python mastered, it really opens up the big data ecosystem to you. So Hadoop is probably one of those things that you've heard about, but you're not quite sure what it is. Well, Hadoop's just a tech stack that lets you analyze data in a massive scale in a fault tolerant way, and Python is the gateway into it. It really started with map reduced apps, which kind of mapped and reduced data, and that's now moved into Spark. And Spark lets you analyze data in RAM, in real time, quickly. And that's really became a want of most businesses. But where are we actually carrying out all this data engineering? Well, it started on premise, but then more recently it's got more cloud native. So that's the likes of Azure, GCP, and AWS. But after all, the cloud is just someone else's computer, and that makes it great. You can get started at home with these big data technologies and languages today. You can sign up for an AWS account and get started. There's plenty of information on this channel how to do that, and there's stuff on GCP and Azure, and there's other information, other YouTube channels that cover all this for free. So why wouldn't you? What used to be a barrier to entry for data engineers needing to go on-premise, work in massive data centers, and have only exposure at work, you can now do it from your back bedroom at night. It's brilliant. You also need some soft skills, and one of those is a flair for data. If you open an Excel sheet and it looks like gobbledygook, data engineering might not be the career for you. If you open an Excel sheet and you see the matrix, then it could be for you. So understanding data and how it works is fundamental to becoming a data engineer in 2021. And then the big thing is staying up to date. Data engineering is a relatively new field. It moves at a rate of knots. When you buy a book, it's out of date before it gets home and you set it down. So what you need to actually do is be reading online. There's lots of material for free on AWS, Azure, GCP, YouTube, for example. So why wouldn't you? It's free. Guys, I hope this video helps you on your journey to being a data engineer in 2021. I've been Johnny Chivers. I'll make all this information for free as usual on my website, www.johnnychivers.co.uk. And I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. It helps me loads in this channel. And guys, until next time, thanks for watching.